Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going to go over where you can acquire the incredibly rare rune pistol handgun on La Somme in Remnant 2. Now, what makes this pistol so rare is that you need to go through a very rare recurring biome from the Morrow Parish starting point, the Great Hall, which only has roughly a 10% chance of spawning in the Forsaken Quarter, which means you're going to need to go through the first couple of biomes anyway, as well as take down one of the bosses, either the Bloat King or Gwendol the Unburnt, whether you're in the Great Sewers or Cotton's Kiln, respectively. Make sure that you go through and take down one of the bosses. Links below the like button for everything that you need to know and find out along the way. Now, like I say, what makes this so difficult is finding the Great Hall biome. Once you've managed to find that from the Morrow Parish starting point on La Somme, you're golden. You've pretty much already done all the hard work. However, getting that biome to spawn can be a pain given the procedurally generated nature of Remnant 2. You might find it on your first run. If you do, fantastic. If you don't, however, it's going to take you possibly... A fair amount of time for me it was 32 world resets in adventure mode before i finally managed to find the great hall biome but that's what we do here we make guides so let's get on with it once you're in the great hall you need to go all the way around the top floor of the area then drop down the elevator to the lower floor make your way all the way back around but you can go up a staircase at the end of the corridors look behind the ovens on a shelf where you're going to be able to acquire something called the ravenous medallion now, ordinarily, in the Great Hall, you would then use the Ravenous Medallion on the double doors near the checkpoint back at the start of the biome. You're then going to go through and take on a very tough fight, allowing you to get a melee weapon called the Bone Chopper. However, in order to acquire the Rune Pistol, we need to continue through to the Tormented Asylum, which is the Night Weaver, who is the world boss of the Somme from the Morrow Parish starting point. It's her biome. So you need to make your way all the way through, taking down either Magister Delon or the Red Prince. Again, links down below for everything that you need if you do come across either of these bosses. You then need to collect the Soul Key Tribute. Use that on the blue web in the ground floor by the cells in the Asylum, which you're going to lead yourself back to anyway, just by following the linear path through the biomes. Nothing. And then once you are in the Tormented Asylum, you want to go into the first cell on your left where you can then trade the Ravenous Medallion for something called a Decrepit Rune. And with the decrepit rune acquired, you can then go to the checkpoint and then fast travel over to Nimue's retreat and then exchange the decrepit route for the rune pistol. The strange one returns. Namue's artisanship is yours to peruse. Now once you have the rune pistol, equip it where you're going to notice that it fires in a three round burst. There's no way of changing this, however, it's special ability that's baked in called Soul Brand applies Soul Brand to all enemies within 25 meters which lasts 25 seconds. Enemies killed whilst bearing the Soul Brand leave behind an echo which lasts for 10 seconds before returning to the Nightmare Realm. Echoes are drawn to any survivor who walks within three meters granting 20% of max health on contact. 
So what that essentially means is everyone that you kind of activate the soul brand on, once you've built up enough mod power, obviously R1, RB or whatever the button is on PC, activate that. They're all then going to get a runic symbol above their head. Everyone that you then kill, whilst they've got the runic symbol above their head, will then grant you 20% of your max health back. So if you've got a group of enemies in front of you, if you can apply soul brand to just three of them, that's 60% of your health back, providing you've killed them in time. If you can apply it to eight of them, that could be 160% of your health back. So if you use this one strategically, you could essentially never run out of health as long as you've got the mod power to sustain the soul brand. I think there's a reason that they made this the rarest handgun that you can acquire in Remnant 2 and the Somme. It is just that damn powerful. There's no other weapon that I've come across in the game that grants you 25 meters of range for an ability that then heals you for 20% of your max health every time you take an enemy down whilst they're afflicted with a negative status. This is definitely a handgun that you want to level up. But of course the choice is yours, as is whether or not you want to click the like button. If you do, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Either way though, whichever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves out there, enjoy the rest of your week, and I do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides. Hey, welcome here.